most of the way through day one at uh, Exponential 2022. It's been a great show, certainly a big jump up from last year in, in Atlanta. It's the, it, the industry is recovering, it's happy to be recovering, and it's out to do serious business. Yeah. Tell us what kind of business Ascent is looking for right now. Yeah, so we are current, continuing to serve our industrial and public safety and defense customers with the spirit. We did just launch the NX30 today, which is meant for material transport, freight, package delivery, food delivery, et cetera. We build platforms, so ultimately that the business that we're bringing is subject to our customers' needs. What's the difference between the vehicles? The NX30 is a heavier lift, doesn't support the dual payload out of the box. It's able to carry a seven and a half pound payload for 49 minutes. We're able to fly 12 and a half miles out, land, not deliver the package, cancel, the, carry that weight all the way back. So we have an operational service area of 1,800 square miles, which is the highest of anything in its class. The Spirit doesn't do that exactly. It's not optimized for carrying payloads, or it's really meant for ruggedization, modularity, kind of like a workhorse of products. Yeah. Okay. NX is a little bit more specialized. It's really optimized for that longer duration, medium, so like five to 15 pound payload. There really isn't anything like it in its class for its performance. This is the core of the vehicle. This is basically the whole aircraft. Everything above and below it is either battery or payload. So you've got a lot to work with. Including if you want parachutes, you want specialized payloads, you need other types of sensors for detect and avoid, we can put that in there. So we've been looking at broadening our offerings and really we have medium-sized aircraft, we're looking at building something larger, there's something much smaller in the pipeline. We wanted to show people that our platforms are scalable and really extremely capable. So they all share the same weather resistance, almost the same performance metrics in terms of wind resistance of over like 40 mile an hour winds. We have some of the best engineers in the industry, folks that came from Amazon, MIT, and I feel like if you were to view an innovation curve, we're right where it's about to start taking off. I feel like what's happened in the last 18 months, it's been extraordinary, not just from the autopilot side, companion computers, autonomy, control links, payload integration, prices coming down, and I think really it's the moment in the industry that I think a lot of us were waiting for the last couple of years. It's like, oh man, we're finally moving things forward. Bobby, I can't wait to see what you come up with next. We will see you in Denver. Thank you. Pleasure. I'm stoked. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com.